What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today this is going to be what is Arch Linux revisited? Because I feel personally that the previous video that I made on what is Arch Linux became, it did become pretty popular, right, it's right now it has 13,000 views and I've seen, I've received some comments about it, like a lot of things I did say I felt, that even I felt after rewatching it, felt a little, I had a little bit too much bias in it and my opinion of Arch Linux has changed a little bit and that truthfully as much as I, I, I love Arch Linux in a lot of ways this is this installation you're seeing right now the, 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 what you're seeing on the screen right now is Arch Linux but this will probably be the last time I use Arch Linux on this computer as of right now when this installation just decides to break I will probably move on to probably either Fedora something similar but probably not gonna be Arch Linux and I'm gonna say those reasons later on so what is Arch Linux? Arch Linux is a very lightweight distribution. And we're going to talk about, we're, we're on Arch Linux's website. It's a very lightweight distribution in the fact that when you install Arch Linux, you have to install a lot of the software from the beginning. When you start Arch Linux, when you start the installation, when you download the installation guide, uh, let me just clear this out, um, you will be prompted with a terminal. There is no next, next, continue. There is nothing of that. There, you start from a terminal. And through this terminal, then you install all your packages, you start out, you will even go to the beginner's guide to even go through it a little bit. So you go through it and you, you do all your hard drive stuff, you, you're partitioning, you activate swap if you choose to do swap, which is a kind of a uh, swapping from a piece of the hard drive in the RAM. And then you do the install the base system, generate ftab, all this stuff, and then you finally get to the end of the installation where you probably, you will decide your... Um, display Manager, which I have GNOME, which is GNOME, this is GNOME 3, um, 3.16 actually, um, or you could do KDE, you could do Mate, you could do a bunch of different dis desktops. And one thing I said in my original What is Arch Linux video, that I kind of leaned to it, that I believe that it was only on Arch Linux you can do this. That's not true. You can switch your desktop in any distribution. It's just that I feel that Arch Linux prompts you to do that more often, and prompts you to do it. The ability to do that, I feel, is more available to do in Arch Linux. Even though you could do it in Ubuntu Linux Mint, you can you could play around with the terminal and, and switch out the desktop, but I feel it's easier to do that in Arch Linux. Not to say that it's a good thing to switch desktops. It is. I like to do that once in a while, but sometimes you get some problems doing that. Um, another thing that I talked about and I'm going to talk about now is updating. So updating Arch Linux is a kind of I don't know if I, I said this in the other video, but it, it's kind of a monster. It's it's a mess, I feel, because every time I update Arch Linux, it has a possibility it will break. It has a chance that when I re reboot that computer, it's not going to come back to the desktop. We're going to have a crash. Usually, it's Xorg. Xorg server has problems updating. And when it updates, and I have an update available right now, which I refuse to update to, because I know when I reboot, it's not going to come back to the desktop. I will have a either an Xorg no screens found, or I'll have to rerun NVIDIA xconfig. Something will happen where I cannot do it. And before I believe that this was an NVIDIA problem, and I think it's a problem between NVIDIA and Xorg, where there's conflicting, where NVIDIA doesn't update, but Xorg does, and now NVIDIA is confused, and everyone gets confused. We're to the point where I have to either update NVIDIA, or I try to reinstall NVIDIA drivers to fix it with Xorg. So for the updating, it is nice that you get the newest and latest greatest updates. You get the newest thing. When an update comes out, like Arch Linux got 3.16 officially for GNOME 3, for GNOME very quickly, very fast. It's a good thing and it's kind of fun to play with really new updates, but it also can make your system very unstable. One thing that's that's a reason when if when and if this installation of Arch Linux does finally break and I can't have I can't use it anymore and it does slow down eventually, I will probably switch to Fedora or something else that I feel is a little bit more stable. The stability of your machine is one thing that I feel is a necessity. I feel like installing applications is very, very simple in Arch Linux compared to Linux Mint and Debian. The installation for Arch, for Arch Linux programs is a little different. It's a little different, but compared to them, um, I think Arch Linux, it's, it's simpler in Arch Linux. It's much simpler in the fact where, like, okay, I want to get VirtualBox. So I drop down terminal here, and then you're able to do, let's do sudo pacman-s virtualbox. So type in the password. And then I'll reinstall because it's already installed. But in a situation like this, you can install programs very simply. Instead of, um, there's also what we call 
terminal managers. So your root is one of them. Your root. So your root lets you download packages that are in the main repository. So the main repositories for Arch Linux is extra community. You can activate others using the in the Pacman config. So there's other different repositories, but the main ones you get is extra un uh, community, and I think that's it. Yeah, only extra in community. Uh, maybe multi-lib if you activate. So those main repositories are act accessible through the terminal, but there's other databases that aren't. So yeah, extra community are the main two, but when you come up with um, com um, programs that aren't, so other ones like testing and multi-lib testing, programs in here, you can't just download through the terminal. You can't just download them using the pacman s command. You have to use either um, make them using the dot tar or the tar the tarball or you use a, pa a terminal kind of packager that kind of installs it for you which i use your root there's others around i uh one i can't remember off the top of my head but your is the one i use and i think it's the best one digital ocean has a really good tutorial to getting you your root on your system so you can download different things like that so say i want to, i want one of these packages that's not in the main repository see if i can find one of those packages that isn't in the main repository. So for example, even though this is in the main repository, we'll just pull it through your root. So if we do this and then type in the name, it will pull up your root. So this is going through different versions of what we see. So in the AUR, it's the AUR, the user repository. User repository are, are man, maintained by people and you can't access the user repositories through Pacman. You can get them through your root. And we get both of them here. We get through extra and the uh, Arch user repository. The Arch user repository, I feel, is the most helpful thing because you get people who maintain different softwares very, very quickly. So with with Visual Studios, for example, it was brought on by someone, and then you can download it very, very quickly, and you don't have to build it from code, which I find is very simple. And in, instead of like where the B and, and Ubuntu and Linux Mint, you have to kind of find a DEB, and sometimes finding a .deb is kind of difficult. So another thing I want to talk about, and this is a kind of blurry picture to pull up, but in the other Arch Linux video, I feel that I, I put it in my and how I sounded that Arch Linux is the only way to go. And it's not. And it really is not. You can go any which way. It, for me, it's whatever works for you. If you use Fedora, that's great. Everything has its, every distribution has a purpose. Arch Linux is to be simple, minimalistic. You don't have to put it, you can just use open box. You can use whatever. You can put very minimalistic things. But if you want to use Ubuntu, whatever makes you productive. That's the main thing. If, if productivity is your main thing and you find a distribution that works, that is what you use. Arch Linux is just for people who found Arch Linux. I found Arch Linux when I finished my, my tour around other Linux distributions. I finally stumbled to Arch Linux and I like it. But the updating is kind of killing it for me. And I feel like Arch Linux has to fix the updating. So I'll have an annotation in the middle of the screen right now if you did not see the What is Arch Linux video. And I, I co covered a lot of the same things I did in that video, but I covered a little bit less because I feel that that video was, it did have a little issues in it. I, didn't, I understand the people who commented on the video because that's good. I like the commenting and I like that people pointed out the issues because it made me see that hmm, I, I, was, I, feel, I did have biases towards the other Linux distributions. And I'm leaving Arch Linux because of that because... Arch Linux is good, but it's it's, it's starting to sh I'm starting to see the issues. I'm starting to see the problems where the terminal is one of the thing. Well, I'm the updating is the main issue with Arch Linux. When when an update comes through, and I try to update, it's supposed to come back. I'm supposed to be able to reboot and come back to my desktop. But in every almost every situation, I have found that um, you don't, and you you crash, and then you're, you're sitting there for like an FF, either an hour, two hours, trying to fix the problem, because you do want to get to the desktop, and then you're like, okay, I'm back, like, that's a main issue, and I think that's a very big problem for the Arch Linux community, and I feel that Arch Linux has to get that fixed, well, fix, or the problem solved between the package conflicts, and I, I don't think you can really fix a package conflicts, because the updates are so so far and few they're so recent there's so many that come out every day that it's very hard to keep on top of and that's why i'd almost recommend people using like a rolling release or a stable build of a linux distribution like ubuntu or different like that if you're a tinkerer at heart and you like to build things and you like to get into the nitty gritty of everything i do recommend arch linux to play around for stuff but i almost don't recommend arch linux as your main workstation now that is the reason i made this video is because my opinion on it has changed that i don't feel that arch linux 
has the ability to make you be your main system because if you have important files on here, which I kind of do, um, having it update and then not come back to a desktop is dangerous because then you could lose a lot of your data, even though in a lot of situations you can just load up a, a Linux live CD and be able to pull everything off, but that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a case. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be how it works. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about what is Arch Linux revisited? I'm going to try to have a stamp in the thumbnail for revisited because I'll use the old thumbnail for this. So what do you think? Leave it in the comments below and I'll message you back. 200 subscribers is on its way. We're at 175 of me recording this video, which is amazing. I thank you. Every I want to thank everyone who subscribes to this channel. It is amazing that you think my content is good enough to subscribe to. So I want to thank you. The 200 subscriber special will, will be uploaded when we hit 200 subscribers. And I'm going to have a cool little special for that. So as always, my name is Adrian Suarez. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.